Hello folks, uh, uh, today it is uh, 2017 major paper 5 this time. So this is the question I asked in some uh, exam in some colleges that I work. So it's the solution to that thing. Actually I have done the solution uh, solution, uh, and uh, I'm just uh, uh, repeating what I have done. So this time uh, the, the problem was a tricky one. So I think uh, uh, many of them did not even realize what the trick was. They simply did innocently. But uh, there are several hooks, uh, several uh, uh, pitfalls where uh, people could do mistakes, common mistakes. So th there was. Uh, <clears throat> so it says that a student is investigating the current in a circuit. The circuit is set up as shown. It's a very simple circuit. We have got a source of EMF E. Uh, we have got a measuring device ammeter in series. We have got a resistor P and resistor Q and current I. Two resistors P and Q are attached, uh, connected to a power supply of EMF E and a negligible inner resistance so no inner resistance uh, that makes things easier the current i is measured the resistance of uh, resistor p is p p uh, the experiment is for different values of p so vary p it is such that, that uh, i and p are related by the equation e equal to i whole p plus q so it's a uh, uh, normal formula because uh, emf is equal to total current uh, into total resistance where q is the resistor resistance of resistor q Number A, a graph is plotted uh, for 1 by i on the y-axis against p on the x-axis. So we have to plot p in the x-axis and 1 by i in the y-axis. Determine expressions for the gradient and the y-intercept. So the equation is E equal to i, uh, p plus q. So I need 1 by i as a y. So uh, we shift this i over here. It goes to denominator and becomes 1 by i. Then uh, we have, uh, it goes here. So p plus q by e. Then we separate this thing, P by E plus Q by E. Now uh, we have P on the x-axis, so that's why we have to separate E, that's why. 1 by E equal to 1 by E separated, P plus Q by E. So P is X, 1 by I is Y. So the uh, term in front of P will be the gradient, M. So M equal to 1 by E, 1 by E. And the remaining after plus is uh, C, intercept, which is Q by E. So that scores the initial one mark. A very good start to... Uh, your works then then I have uh, the table uh, portion here values of P and I are given in figure 2.2 yeah it's there the tolerance of each value of P is a 5% so 5% means plus minus 5% of the uh, resistance of P uh, so we have to we have the column of uh, P I and 1 may I so calculate and record values of 1 may I which is uh, per ampere in figure 2.2 and also we have to uh, determine the absolute uncertainties in P. So uncertainty in P is 5%, uh, 5% 5 5 of the existing value. So what we can do is, so 5% of 180 will be equal to 0 0.05 into 180 equal to 9. So I have to use 2SF there. That's why I use 9.0. But uh, in the second, I did not use 11.0 because uh, the uncertainty should be in 2SF. So it is uh, 220 into 0 0.05 equal to 11 so just 11 is 2sf so 11 in all the quantities we have got to the same pattern no no this no number of the decimal because the 2sf is fulfilled and then we have got to uh, one by i here so i is in a milliampere so the first value is value is uh, 34 milliampere means into uh, 10 to power uh, 10 to power minus 3 10 power minus 3, so it is uh, 34 exponent minus 3, minus 3 reciprocal, so reciprocal equal to, equal to 29.411 and so on. Now, uh, we have to write up to that digit, so here we don't have error, we don't have uncertainty, so uh, the, the digit up to which we write is determined by the uh, by the uh, by the uh, graph graph here because it's only the graph that helps us determine up to where we can write so so so, so let me let me let me let me see the graph here let me see the graph so the papers are just uh, gone astray so I'll let me arrange it let me arrange it so this is the this is my arrangement initial arrangement yeah so in the paper what you can see is so one way i is in the y-axis Right, so let me see the paper here in the y-axis I have I have uh, uh, from here to here 10 divisions equal to 10 so 10 divisions is equal to 10 so that means 1 equal to 1 
so I can write up to uh, write up to the unit place so it's 50 51 52 53 54 and so on so I can write up to the unit place and no uh, no number after that so so here we ha we can have the unit place is so 9 is in unit place so we, have, we can write only 2 9 and not others in a similar manner in the next number I have got to uh, 28 exponent to minus 3 reciprocal equal to 35 point something something so I can write only up to this 5 so when I round up these things it becomes 36 and so on and here again it is uh, writing up to the unit place unit place so it I, I get uh, 100 so not 100 point something or not 110 or something like that so it should be 100 so this is how I uh, filled up the table so if uh, anything is beyond this thing uh, beyond this uh, table then that thing is wrong that thing is absolutely wrong now now plotting uh, so let us go for the um, digits and the plotting so uh, plotting uh, was not so much difficult because if let us say first the first thing here so it is 100 here in the y-axis and in the y-axis and in the x-axis I have got uh, 680 so it is 680 here somewhere here so from here it goes from 680 680 is over here it goes like this and uh, uh, I've got to uh, one on it and so on so not so difficult actually but uh, the error bar is uh, since the error bar is in the uh, since the answer is in the P or the error bars also should be for P so that's why it should be horizontal so in order to calculate the error bar what you can do is uh, let me first go for the largest one this one is this 34 so here in the x-axis what we have is in the x-axis uh, from here to here it is 100 so 100 means 10 divisions 10 divisions so that means 1 means uh, 10 by 100 and uh, 34 means 10 by 100 into uh, 34 so that's equal to equal to 3.4 so I have drawn 3.4 to the left 3.4 to the left and 3.4 to the right so it is uh, from here it is 1 2 3 4 so somewhere in between but uh, slightly to the left because uh, it is 3.4 it has not yet become uh, 3.5 in the same manner I drew all the error bars I drew all the error bars uh, then I drew the best fit then I drew the worst fit and regarding worst fit this time it is very tricky this time it is very very tricky so what I have done is uh, whatever I have drawn is if I draw uh, error bar error bar uh, no no uh, if I draw the worst fit line by joining the left side of this to the right side of this of this this point or this point will not be included because that that thing does not cross through uh, most probably this point so what I've done is I have uh, tried to uh, touch the edge of this thing not this but this so it has gone slightly inside and if I do this every of them cross uh, in other words I, I could have done uh, this uh, point to this point also so if I do so again several points uh, they do not connect that's why I used I used uh, this point against this so not this and this it's because if I use this this point or this point will not be included will not be crossed and uh, the worst fit line should cross through all that's the rule so that's why I came to the edge of this so while I do so it goes slightly inside and all others are crossed so that is how I drew the worst fit line in this case worst fit line in this case so best fit worst fit uh, in order to calculate the slope I, 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 I use triangles so one triangle covers both of them so this is the uh, coordinate of uh, the best fit line x2 y2 then uh, x1 y1 x1 y1 uh, for best fit line so for worst fit x1 y1 worst fit and uh, x2 y2 worst fit so uh, if I use the values I get it the the, the, the the gradient as the gradient is somewhat like this gradient is somewhat somewhat like this so here I have the values so I select the points uh, somewhat like this so it becomes this and this now when I calculate the uh, uncertainty in the slope or gradient it becomes somewhat like this so when I write in 2SF it should be equal to so this goes here it becomes 5 so 0 0.015 0 0.015 now regarding this thing so if I write the error here 
0.015 this is the starting digit of error so I can write only up to here I can write only up to here so round it off all here it becomes this 3 becomes 4 because it's 9 here so it is 0 0.14 plus minus 0 0.015 and uh, as usual I have written uh, lots of digits here so I did 6SF 6SF because uh, we cannot truncate in the very beginning now now in the last piece in the last piece the first thing I have to do is I have to calculate the intercept and it's always uh, good to remember that uh, when there is a calculation of intercept uh, it will have more errors it will have more error or more uncertainty so it's, you have to be prepared mentally for this thing so the, the more you are prepared the more it will be better for everybody so for baseline I choose uh, this point here so I have written here uh, 461 for y intercept and uh, 462 for y intercept so I used uh, the points to calculate the C best intercept best and intercept worst so I used the corresponding values for each of them and while I did so the value of this worst value has come to be very very less compared to this thing now one thing that I remember I, I want to remind you is if you take if you take uh, the slope of worst line as more if you uh, make the slope of worst line more uh, this happens this happens uh, the, 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 the uncertainty becomes very, very less but if you uh, if you uh, if you draw the worst line like this from here to here by some means at that time generally the uncertainty is uh, not so much not so much so I don't know why in most cases it happens that so it doesn't make any difference us different to us because because uh, that is what we have done it's all about truth it's all about justice no injustice has been done so what you get is the difference becomes this much it's very high very high now we have to uh, express in terms of 2sf so i have to round it off here off here so if so it becomes zero it's only five so it's 5.0 so 5.0 error so if i write 5.0 here this is the true value so this is the true value 5.2624 if I use 5.0 here, I can write only up to here, only up to here. So round it off all the so it becomes 5. So the value of intercept and the uncertainty is almost same. It happens. It happens because, let us say, in some cases, the inter intercept should have been 0, 0. And if by some means it becomes like this, 2 or 3, then at that time, the error is infinite. And the ratio of the error to the main value is infinite. So that, ha that can happen. So having great error in intercept is not our thing. So we should not be confused about that. Now, number D1. Using your answers to A, the first question, uh, C3 and C4. C4 is there. C3 is, uh, is in the last of the previous paper. Previous paper, so this thing. So we have to calculate uh, the um, values of E and Q. So the, from the very first page, what we have is gradient is equal to 1 by E. So that means M equal to 1 by e which gives e is equal to 1 by m so 1 by this thing equal to this thing so 7.18 volt it is e means emf so it should be volt i have written here many sf because uh, truncating is happens later then we have got to uh, the y intercept y intercept is equal to q by e that means uh, c is equal to q by e or q equal to c e so c is the intercept the best value of intercept this thing here and E is the uh, EMF or, or the value uh, we just found here in 37.77. So here what happens is uh, since uh, Q has been uh, stated as the resistance, uh, it should be it should be in terms of ohms, in terms of ohms. Or if you you can you want to determine, so what you can do is uh, the the unit of slope is per ampere per ohm. The unit of a slope is slope means uh, this EM. The unit of uh, 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 m is equal to m is equal to uh, per ampere per ohm per ohm, and the unit of intercept is intercept is so the intercept is uh, is 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 a piece of this one by i so it is ampere minus one unit of intercept c is equal to ampere minus one minus one then I have got this uh, volt here so volt here so it, this is q is equal to c e equal to ampere minus 1 into volt so it means a uh, volt by ampere and that becomes ohm so <coughs> ohm uh, if you know what uh, 
Uh, what TQ is, it gives us ohm. And if you do not even know, we can use the graph and several things to find its unit. <coughs> now, now uh, the last thing, uh, determine the present uncertainty is in E and uh, Q. So, present uncertainty is equal to delta E by E into 100. So, E equal to 1 by M. So, that's why delta E by E becomes delta M by M into 100. So, delta M is uh, this thing, which I use from here. I use full value here, full value of the uncertainty, this thing, delta E, delta E. Then I've got uh, E uh, or M, M, let us say, full value here. So it becomes 10.651% uh, uh, So I have to round it off to 2SF. So this becomes all of them uh, round off here. It becomes 11. Then, point uh, in Q is equal to, Q is equal to delta Q by Q into 100. It becomes, so since Q equal to C, it is equal to delta C by C uh, into 100 plus delta E by E. So it's the error formula. So this thing has already been determined, which is equal to 10.6517 percentage, uh, percentage from here. And this thing is uh, delta C, delta C is here, here. So this is the true value, 4.9572. Then I've got uh, C, uh, C is uh, 5.2624, 2624. So it becomes, uh, overall it becomes uh, 104.85 percentage. So as I said, as I said, Having uh, having a large uh, error in intercept is not odd, and when it adds to something else, the error even adds up. So that's why 104.85 is not odd thing, not odd thing. So let's be confident. Uh, in some cases that happens, and here it is the case. Uh, in the case, so uh, when you add this, this becomes. So when I have to write only up to here, so round it off all things over here. So if I round it off, uh, round it to all those things, so I made a mistake here because. This is 485, so that's it should be zero. It should be zero. So this thing should be should be should be zero. So it is hundred percentage. So I I nearly made a very drastic mistake here. So since 485, it should come here round of here. So it should be it should come down to zero rather than one. So this is 100 percentage. So uh, though the error is uh, very high in the intercept intercept thing. Uh, it's not uh, it's not a uh, mistake it is correct because this happens and if I do like this uh, I have done it in some another way also another way also uh, I actually uh, it made this thing made me work very hard so see you can see here I tried this I tried that see the amount of work I have put so if I try this one this one as the worst fit the uh, this error is very less around 30 percent is 33 percent is so it's okay with me because uh, I want to uh, make people aware about the uh, maximum error that can happen. That happens so that uh, uh, during exams, even if they make some uh, mistakes, uh, they can they can be confident about their own approach. So if it is correct, you can work confidently. And uh, this this thing I dealt with this thing even with uh, this not, this person is a mistakes because I want to instill that confidence in in people. Thank you.